You guys, where do these eye floaties come from? Can you guys see that? Hey humans, Trace here for D News with a viewer question from Zach Balestra. He asks, why do we see dots floating when we look up at the blue sky? Dude, I totally wondered that same thing, so I looked into it. Those dots are actually called floaters. They're a generic term for those stringy things that you occasionally see when you're looking at a white wall or up at the blue sky. They are not actually on your eye, nor are they in the air in front of you. They're inside of your eyeballs. Creepy, right? The eye is a small, squishy globe filled with a fluid called vitreous humor. Think of it like an egg white, because it's kind of the same consistency. At the back of your little globes are a layer of light-sensitive cells. When you hear rods and cones, that's what these are. They make up the retina. So the floaters are pieces of protein or clusters of cells floating inside of your eye, suspended in that vitreous gel. What you're seeing isn't the piece itself, but actually a shadow of that piece on your retina. It's so close to those light perceiving cells that the shadow looks giant, but it's really not. If you try and look at the floater or follow it with your eyes, it zips away and that's kind of like an ice cube in a glass. When you turn the glass, the cube's gonna move too. It's just like those floaters. Those little bits of gunk in your vitreous humor are mostly harmless, but the gel fluid shrinks as you age. So chances are, if you haven't seen them yet, you're going to soon. 25% of people see floaters by their 60s, and by their 80s, two thirds of people see them. So as long as we're on the topic, I poked a little bit further into those lights that you see when you're dark or you have your eyes shut. This also comes back to vitreous humor. When you press on your eyes, the humor rubs or tugs against the retina in the back of your eye, and this tugging causes flashes. It's the same as like a knock to your head when you're seeing stars, but don't do it too much because it can pull the retina away from the wall of your eye. That's bad. There are other non-physical reasons that you could see streaks, cobwebs, and images inside of your eyeballs, because the brain is a glutton for input. The tiny dots that you're seeing are the retina's attempt to create images from nothing. When you close your eyes, the retina continues to send information to your brain. So rather than just turning off the eyeball, the brain interprets the cell and neural activity as colored lights. With a little bit of relaxation and concentration, you can actually take those little colored dots and move them around to see what's going on inside of your head. Do y'all have a good way to guarantee that you can see floaters? I have definitely seen them before, but not actually recently. I, maybe I need to keep trying. Give me some tips in the comments. And thanks a lot for watching D News today, everybody. Subscribe for more, and we'll see you next time.